Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm doing a big meal for the family and I have a lot of cooking that's going on right now. So today I'm doing, I'm going to show you guys how to make All right, so now we're going to start the prep work for the stuffing. Now this is a hack on stuffing because I know some of you out there like to use the whole cornbread thing, but in this case, since I'm cooking for a large amount, um, we're going to do this method. I got this from, um, from Costco and it's a box with four bags of stuffing. Each bag of stuffing is about 10 ounces of stuffing. So we're going to use all four of these babies. Okay. So we're going to use all four of these. We're going to use a whole onion. We're going to use, um, five sticks of celery sliced up. And then the hack on it is, is that I'm going to saute up some pork slices because I am doing a rolled stuffed pork. So I'm going to saute some of those along with the garlic i mean along with the celery and the onion and then i'm going to use some of this kinder's um, buttery steakhouse because it has a lot of good ingredients that work very well with stuffing and of course it works very well with meats especially pork and especially beef and then we're going to use six cups of water we're going to put it in a big bowl and we're going to like manipulate it with our hands and get it all worked in but first let's get the prep work done let's slice up the celery, dice up the onions, season up the meat, and then we're going to saute it. Then we're going to saute it all together. All right. I'm not going to talk while I do this. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And you guys can enjoy some music while you see the prep work being done. Okay, so we sauteed the vegetables and we also sauteed the pork. We didn't cook the pork all the way through because we're going to slice it up and mix it in with the celery and the onion. And then we're going to open up these packets of stuffing and we're going to mix it all in together and we're going to add some liquid to it. And then we're going to put it in the oven and bake it at 350 degrees until it's done. The rest of the stuffing I'll be using to stuff the pork roast.
All right, the stuffing is done, and now we're about to see how it came out. All right. Just the texture that I like. You can see the little chunks of pork, celery, and the rest of the ingredients in there. Look at that. Nice and hot. Yep. I'll get you guys. I'm stuffing. I'm gonna make some and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.